All right, good evening, everyone. It's seven o'clock already. Good evening. Good evening. Hello. Hello. How are you today? How are you? Today is Wednesday, six. Mm -hmm. September Listen to 6. my question. How are you? How are you today? Very, very. Oh, yes. Uh -huh. I'm very. Very, very, very fun. Very. <laughs> yes. Okay. That's it. How are you today? ¿Cómo están? Les preguntaba. How are you? How is it going? And the other question is what day is today? Ahí sí me dicen la fecha, ¿ok? What day is today? <laughs> Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. Uh -huh. Don't worry. Yeah. Wednesday. September. September. 2023. Okay, September 6th, 2023. Bueno, vamos a mostrarles ahorita de qué se trata la clase, okay? That's it. I already have 11, 12 students. Remember to have your cameras on all the time so we can practice, we can see each other. And it's just one hour class, okay? So... In the case that you're having issues with your camera, just let me know. You can write a, just right here in some chat a, about the reason why you cannot have your camera on. Solo veo eh, dos cabaritas encendidas, el resto sí están apagadas. Vamos, chicos, cámaras encendidas. Ya decíamos la fecha, today is... September 6th, and in this opportunity, we are going to be presenting one of the topics from section number three. Okay, remember that this week, uh, to be more specific, in tomorrow's class, we need to finish with section number three topics. See? ¿Sí? Well, sería nuestra antepenultima clase de la section number three. Let me present the topic that we have right now. If you remember, yesterday we were practicing the usage of one and ones. We were also learning on how to ask for prices. We were practicing on how to say amounts, how to express amounts. In this case, by uh, using dollars and Cent. Veíamos eso ayer. Uno de los temas que vamos a ver ahora también, preferences en materials. Como se llama la sección 3, how much is it? Siempre vamos a eh, comparar en este caso precios o preguntar, consultar precios. How much is it? If I want to be more specific whenever I am asking or giving information about prices, I can include the material, okay? And I can also express preferences. Revisemos el objetivo de esta clase, okay? Let me take you to the platform. Class number seven. Sí, ahí está, clase siete. Revisamos primero el objetivo de qué se trata esta clase and then vamos a chequear la asistencia, okay? Here we go. That's it. All right. ¿Cómo van con la platform? Did you already complete the exercises from section number three? How about finish. the midterm exam? Yes? Did you finish? Finish. You finish. All right. That's great. Great to know about that. Okay, let me take you to section number three. There you are going to find some videos with extra 
information about the topics that we are presenting in this class. Vamos a darle un momentito que cargue la plataforma, ok? Section number three. In tomorrow's class, we are going to make a review about section number three and probably the topics from section number one and two. Eso estaríamos haciendo mañana. Okay. That's it. Vale. Mientras carga, let me check the attendance list. Se tardó un poquito más de lo esperado, ¿ok? Who is in the English class today? Revisemos ahorita. Aquí está la asistencia, ¿ok? Remember to say here or present. Yes. Here we go. Andrea María Díaz Beltrán. Hey, Mario Guevara. Ok, vamos a ver. Berosli Rosales Gómez. Good evening, present. Excelente. Carlos Francisco Escoto Martínez. Carlos Francisco Escoto Martínez. Emerson Antonio Molina Hernández. Yeah. Excelente. Glenda Lisset Guzmán Morán. Present teacher, good evening. Good evening, Glenda. Jessica Lisset, Campus Campus. Present. Ok, Jessica. Karen Elizabeth Cruz de Noyola. Present teacher. Ok, Karen, Manuel Alexander, Áviles Chacón. I'm here, teacher. Excellent. María Elizabeth de la O Maldonado. Present teacher. Ok, excellent. Mario Ernesto Guevara Monge. Present. Ok, Mario Noemí Salazar Meléndez. Present teacher. Excellent. Noemí Riquelmi Ezequiel Ventura Chacón. I'm here, teacher. Ok, Riquelmi, Roberto Carlos Morales Cartagena. Hi, teacher. I am here. All right, Roberto Carlos, Ruth Abigail Caballero Martínez. I'm here, Miss. All right. Saúl Ernesto, no, Saúl Alejandro Alvarado Vidal. Present, Miss. Ok, Saúl Alejandro, Sonia Beatriz Villalta Sarmiento. Present. Ok, excelente. En Stephanie Beatriz Carballo Gomero. Stephanie Beatriz. So I'm just missing Stephanie and Carlos Francisco. Casi la asistencia completa. Pero estamos muy bien, chicos. Gracias por el esfuerzo de unirse a cada una de las sesiones. ¿sí? Vámonos. ¿Qué íbamos a ver? Dijimos el objetivo. At the end of this class. You are going to be able to. Revisemos de qué vamos a ser capaces. ¿Sí? That's it. Here we have the platform. Okay, section number three. Here we go. Nos tocaría. Ahí está. Si se fijan, es una conversación. This is a conversation. What's the title of the conversation class? What is the title? Sí, ¿cómo se llama la conversation? What's the title of the conversation? Which one do you prefer? Uh -huh. Which one do you prefer? Which one do you prefer? ¿Cuál prefieres? ¿De qué Pref se trata la conversación? Remember, prefer, prefer. Prefer, no, prefer. That's prefer. Uh, which one do you prefer? If you see the objective in this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation and will be introduced to comparison with adjectives by expressing preferences. Vamos a estar usando, si se fijan, adjetivos comparativos. Ya usamos adjetivos que demuestran. 
demonstrative adjectives. This, that, this and those. Vamos a ver otro tipo de adjetivos. Palabras que se utilizan para comparar. No demostrar, ya lo ocupamos, ¿no? Comparar. Which one do you prefer? ¿Cuál me gusta? ¿Este o este? Ah, y vamos a ser capaces de dar una razón válida. ¿Cuál me gusta? Take a look at the conversation. Here we go. Listen. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation and will be introduced to comparison with adjectives by expressing preferences. Which one do you prefer? Look, these jackets are really nice. Which one do you prefer? I like the wool one better. The wool one? Why? It looks warmer. Well, I like the leather one better. It's more stylish than the wool one. Hmm, there's no price tag. Excuse me, how much is this jacket? It's $499. Would you like to try it on? Uh, no. That's okay. But thanks anyway. You're welcome. Notice how the girls are talking about their preferences. In the next class, we will study how to express preferences and comparisons. Okay, let's listen again. There we go. Preferences. Which one do you prefer? Look, these jackets are really nice. Which one do you prefer? I like the wool one better. The wool one? Why? It's warmer. Well, I like the leather one better. It's more stylish than the wool one. Hmm, there's no price tag. Excuse me, how much is this jacket? It's $499. Would you like to try it on? Uh, no. That's okay. Mm -hmm. But thanks anyway. You're welcome. You're welcome. Let me stop real quick right here and take a look at the picture. Can you tell me, class, where are these people? Where are they at? Where are they? Where are they? Are they in at the school? store? Store. Ah, store. That is a store. What kind of a store is this one? This is a. What kind of a store is this one? Um, the ropa, teacher, but ah, no the ropa. ropa. Yes. How do you say ropa? I just Cloth. 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 Yes, Emerson. Clothes, and then you say store. Clothes store, or you can even say. Cloth. Clothing store. Like this, or you can say clothes. Of course, in a clothing store, you can find clothes and also you can find shoes. Shoes, clothes, accessories, probably. Um, uh, bags, backpacks, at least, I guess, like we can find those kind of items. Makeup? Okay, Probably makeup, right? Clothes store. And if you see in the conversation, we have and and to. This man that you see right here, he's a clerk. His occupation's name is clerk. ¿Qué será un clerk? Ya vamos a ver a quién se le llama Sal. clerk. Ajá, es un Sal. 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 ¿A quién se le llama a um, clerk? What do you think? Take a look at the picture and tell me. Al empleado. ¿Será un empleado? Sí. ¿Un empleado cualquiera? So, no. Not really, right? Es como el, el jefe de departamento. Yes, in this case, um, from this clothing store, it's the man who is helping people. Yes, si es un empleado, claro, pero lo adaptaríamos de acuerdo al contexto. Por ejemplo, en un restaurante, ¿será que encontramos clerks? Yes, we can, we can find clerks. Personas que ayudan a otras. 
sí. Tiche, pero no está mejor vestido que las compradoras. Ah, porque eso es lo que vende, ¿verdad? The appearance. For example, if you go to a beauty salon, si van a un salón de belleza, ¿qué pasaría si encontramos a alguien despeinado con cabello mal arreglado? Ah, ¿verdad? No luce o no es así. Nos vamos. Honor al lugar que estaban visitando. That's why he is wearing these formal clothes. Hey, look, these jackets. These jackets. Miren, están cerca o lejos. They are close. Cerca, en They la are mano. very near. These jackets are really nice. ¿Qué están diciendo de las jackets? The jackets están are... bien bonita. Exactly. Which one do you prefer? Which one do you prefer? ¿Cuál prefieres? Mm, Sue le responde. Ella es Sue. She is Sue. I like the wool one. I like the wool one better. Ya vamos a averiguar qué material es. Porque si se fijan, son materiales diferentes. Dos jackets, different materials. The wool one. Why? It looks warmer. It looks warmer. Se, se ve un poco más eh, caliente. Sí. Well, I like the leather one better. Take a look at the expressions, expressando likes. I like the wool one better. And she is expressing, she doesn't like the wool one. She prefers the leather one, the leather one better. Why? ¿Por qué será que le gusta la de cuero? It's more stylish than... The wool one. Mm. Sí, teacher. Se ve más estética. ¿Verdad? There is no price tag. No hay etiqueta de precio. Excuse me. How much is this jacket? Le preguntan a quién? Al clerk. Excuse me. How much is this jacket? Imagine it. Four hundred ninety-nine dollars. That is... Very expensive. Expensive, se dice, bro. Expensive. Yes, it's, it's very expensive. Would you like to try it on? Miren la invitación que le hace. Would you like? Esto es, ¿te gustaría? ¿Te gustaría el qué? Try it on. ¿Te gustaría probarla? Probártela. Oh, no. That's okay. But thanks anyway. You're welcome. ¿Por qué creen Pero que no gracias. se la probó? Why Porque not? Es que no la va a comprar. Está muy en cara, Tiche. You should try it on. Por lo menos probármela una vez, aunque no la compre, ¿verdad? Preguntas de vocabulario, clase. Go, please. Wood. ¿Qué era wood? Ah, teacher. wood. Ahorita averiguamos. Wood one. Remember this conversation. Les decía que para expresar preferencias, we need to know some extra vocabulary. ¿Qué materiales podemos? Este es un grupo de materiales. You know, there is a very huge list of materials. Si hablamos de materiales y de productos, hay una lista enorme. But in this case, eh, we are going to refer to clothes and accessories. Hablemos de ropa y accesorios. What are these things made of? Take a look at this verb. Made. Okay, let me repeat this one. Made of. ¿Han visto esta expresión, chicos? Made in China. ¿Sí lo han visto? Made in China. Y lo hemos visto de dónde está hecho. ¿De dónde está hecho? ¿En dónde está hecho los productos que tienen esta etiqueta? Made in China. En China, muchos dicen made in. Not really. It's not made in. It's made. Made in. 
Ah, y aquí dice, miren, made of. ¿De qué está hecho? Made of. Hecho de. Queremos conseguir acá información del material. Look at this one. Do you see here? We have one tie. 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 Aquí dice el nombre de la prenda de vestir. Tie. In number two, what can you see in number two class? What's this? This is a bracelet. Ah, okay. bracelet. Ah, but the pronunciation, listen to the pronunciation. Brace. Bracelet. <gasps> bracelet. Bracelet. Yes, bracelet. One more time. Bracelet. In number bracelet. three. What can you see? Class in number three. This is ring. It's a ring. Un anillo. In number four, this is a shirt. 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 Excellent. In number five, what do you see here? Come on. Build. 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 In number six, you can see earring. 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 In number seven, as you see, we have flip flops. Flip flops. Ancletita. Ajá, o ginas, las de hule más que todo, son las flip flops. And the last one, number eight. Sock. Socks. Ahí están las prendas y accesorios. Let's review the material. Number one. What do you think is this one? Cotton. Cotton, dicen algunos. Cotton. Algodón. Alguien que conozca esa palabra. Uh -huh. Algodón. Yes, algodón, algodón. Hay muchas prendas hechas de algodón. ¿sí? How do you say algodón in English? Usually, usually that teacher. ¿Verdad? Mm -hmm. Cotton. Cotton. Podemos decir cotton. Cotton. Es la pronunciación. Or you can even say cotton. Por si lo escuchan en ambas versiones. Cotton. Cotton. Oh. Algodón. And then we have gold. Y lo vamos a comparar con este. Silver and gold. Gold and silver. Yes, what is gold? Do you know? Oro. Oro. Oro, muy bien. Y la siguiente que subrayé acá, bueno, circular. Plata. 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 Silver. Uh -huh. Gold, oro, silver. Dijimos que es plata. Perfect. Y, y los dos son colores, ¿verdad? En Material. sí no es, puede ser usado como color, pero en este caso hablamos de material. Porque también existe el color oro, sí. Pero como hablamos de material, me refiero a eh, de qué está hecho el producto. Yes. Cotton and silver. Then we have leather. Listen, leather, leather, leather. What's this? Cuero. 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 El cuero. En plástico. This is similar to Spanish. Plastic. Plastic. Easy, right? Rubber. R Rubber. Mm. No Uno. vayamos a, a confundir plástico y el rubber. What's that? What's rubber? Es goma. Muy bien. Y también se puede, muchas veces lo traducen como caucho. Depende de lo que estén hablando. Las llantas están hechas de este material. Rubber. Y puede ser goma también. ¿Sí? Rubber. Silk. Silk. ¿Sí? Tela. Es un tipo de tela también. Silk. Seda. Y tenemos otro tipo de tela. Wool. La. Wool. ¿Qué será wool entonces? Lana. Lana, ¿verdad? Lana, yes. tenemos seda y por aquí al inicio dijimos el cotton. 
Ok, so can you help me out? Completemos, a ver qué tal nos va. Saúl Alejandro, what do you think about number two? ¿Qué piensa de las dos? What is the material of number two? The number two is gold. Ok, class, do you agree with that? ¿Están de acuerdo? Are you in agreement with that? Is this a gold bracelet? Yes or not? Yes. Yes, yes it is. Naomi, what do you think about number three? What is the material? It is um, silver. Okay, let's write silver. What do you think, class? Is this a silver ring or not? Yes, it is. It is, of course. In number four, what do you think, Brosley? Number four, what's the material mm -hmm. for number four? Tengo dudas, teacher, porque se ve como que te... Ok, let's, algo, ¿no? let me ask Emerson. What do you think, Emerson, number four? Ayudémosle a ver. She's hesitating about oh, the no. Ah, ok. So, pero so. sí. You think so? Otra que está dudando. What do you think, Glenda? What is your opinion? Is this the correct material or not? No. No? Okay. What do you think, Tell me? Number four. What's the correct material? Yes. Yes? All right. Y Riquelme me dice que sí. Ya cuatro me dijeron que no. So, yes, me. yes, that's the correct one. Es hecha de algodón. A current shirt. Jessica Lisette, what do you think about number five? What is the material for, for this thing? Mm. Let's see. Okay. okay. What do you think, class? Is it okay? Leather? Yes. Yes, right. In number six, Mario Ernesto. What is the material for, for those earrings? What are they made of? De que están hechos? Earrings. Okay, you probably he's not there. Sonia, what do you think in number six? What's the correct material? Um, plastic. Okay, let's type plastic and let me ask the rest of the class. Are they plastic or not? Are they plastic earrings? Robert. Robert. Okay. Uh, because I have plastic and I have rubber. Mm -hmm. Maybe plastic. I guess that's the correct one, yes. Plastic, because this is not plastic, class. It's rubber. Ajá, it's rubber, ahí está. Le decíamos que era goma o caucho. Entonces es el material. Decimos like this, rubber. And the last one, number eight. Roberto Carlos en class, what do you think? What's the last one? Number eight, what's the material? It's silk. One more time, please. Silk? Uh, the number eight is silk. What do you think, class? Silk? Um, what? It is porque ya la otra es... Uh -huh. uh... Muy bien. Look, uh, we already have... Corn. Silk right here. So sí. not silk. Es, es, tiene que ser oh, es lana. Ah, serán de lana probably. And how do you say lana in English? Wow. Well, ah, wool, no, wool, wool. Vamos, wool. Wool. Okay. Wool. Wood. Ya saben los materiales, los reto a que me den más ejemplos. Number one, silk. What are some other products made of silk? ¿Cuáles son otros productos hechos de made of 
y les digo el material, ¿sí? Vamos, denme ejemplos del uno. What are some other products made of silk? Hat. Hat, okay. What else? Bufanda, teacher. Ah, bufanda. Agreguemos todo lo que no nos podamos. Bufanda. How do you say bufanda? Scarf. Is, no, no, it's not like that. Scarf. Así es el deletreo correcto. Scarf. What else? Table. A table. Are you sure? Silk. No. ¿Qué es silk? A suero. Seda. Seda. Es un material muy suave y muy caro. It's very expensive. ¿Sí? Seda. Pilo. A pillow. Great example. Una almohada. A pillow. Payamas. Yes, right. Uh -huh. Pajamas, of course. Son, son, um, the, the dress. A dress? Yes, of course. We can have dresses. Wait, like Sweater. This. Yes, of course, a sweater. What else? Cups. Okay, that's it. Very good examples. Let's move on to gold. Think about the material, not the color, okay? The material, gold. And you can even give me some examples about gold and silver at the same time. Gold class, gold and silver. ¿Qué más conocen que está hecho de oro y plata? What else? Collare. As you say, collar, necklace or a chain, yes. Reloj, ¿cómo se dice reloj? Ahorita, ahorita, le ponemos necklace. No, ok, wait, 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 wait. Neck, and then lace. Cadena, a chain. Anklet. Un reloj, se dice así, miren. Watch, este es el que va en la muñeca, no en la pared. Coins. Watch. Coin. Uh -huh. Yes, coin. No, That's right. Son money or coins. Las monedas, coins, are made of gold. And silver okay. at the same time. Aha, uh -huh. the same, right? What can you tell trophy. me about? Trophy. A trophy? Yes, of course, un trofeo. Okay, let's move on with number four. Look at the material, cotton. What are some products made of cotton? Teacher? Yes, t-shirt. Underwear. Underwear. <laughs> yes, underwear. Yes, pajamas. We can even have pants, dresses. No, a lot of products are made of cotton. Creo que es uno de los más baratos, diría yo, más fresco mm. y más común, y... right? Casi que toda la ropa. Yeah, almost ropa everything interior. It's made of cotton. Yes, that is a, a very cheap material. It's so fresh. Whenever you're wearing something made of cotton, it's not that hot. Can you give me some examples about leather? Cuero. What shoes. are some other products? Yes, shoes. Pant. Pants. Yeah, of course. Boots. Think about boots, yes. Think about other some other products. Cincho, pero no sé cómo se dice. Ah, cincho is right here. Belt. Ah, okay. Yes. How about jackets? Jackets. Jackets. Yeah, right, but they are very expensive. This is a very expensive material. Yeah. No, I think. Silk is, is a very expensive material. Gold is a very expensive material. Silver is a very expensive material. What do you think about plastic? Is plastic an expensive material? Is it caro? Is it expensive? No. Plastic? No. It's, right. cheap. it's cheap. So 
give me some examples about my, some my bottle products. Okay, your bottle. Toys. Are, toys are made of plastic. Yeah. Piensen todo, creo todo, que todo es todo. Toda know. la cocina, la Ajá. cocina tiene juguetes de plástico, oh, los juguetes, the toy. So if we compare, glasses. yeah, glasses, we compare plastic and cotton are very common materials. Raqueta. <laughs> exactly. ¿Qué país será que ama los productos? Hecho de plástico. What do you think? China. China, right? They are specialists in creating almost everything made of plastic. Yes, they create chairs, they make glasses, you know, stuff that we need in the kitchen, everything, mm -hmm. almost everything. Casi todo de plástico. Can you give me some other examples about rubber? Mm -hmm. Think about the material. Um, uh, wheel. Toys? Yes, wheels. Toys. I guess that's it, right? And shoes. Some shoes like this one. Flip flops are made of rubber. Wood. La lana. I forget how to say guantes. Aha, uh -huh, guantes. Ahorita lo escribimos. En serio, de rubber. Ay, sí, es verdad. Ya pensé en que los que se ocupan para lavar. Oh. Que todo. Ajá. Es sí, verdad. Piensen en materiales. Glove made of rubber. Es un material más resistente al plástico. Yes, of course. Wool. Wool. Lana. Give me some examples about some other. Sweater. A sweater. Yes, pajamas, dresses. Yeah. And that's it. Okay, take a look at this uh, question that we have here. Which materials can you find? Probably not in your classroom. Si no, revisemos nuestra casa. ¿Qué materiales ven por ahí? What are the materials that you can find at home? Look around. What can you find? ¿Qué pueden encontrar en su casa? Yes, what are the materials? Se los pongo acá para que recuerden. Iron. Iron. Ese no lo tenemos en la lista. Yes, iron. What else? Wooden. Paper. Wood. Wood. You can find paper. Yes. What else? Uh, acrylic. Acrylic. Miren, ¿cuántos materiales? ¿Any other? Madera, piche, ¿cómo es viejo? Uh -huh. Who knows? ¿Quién sabe? How do you say madera in English? Good. Good. Mm -hmm. Good. Don't, don't confuse that. No vayamos a confundir entonces. Madera con lana. Wood, wool. And that's it. What are some other examples? Vamos, chicos, más ejemplos. How about um, plastic? Plastic. Yeah, right, um, plastic. Uh, what was that again? Otra vez? Ceramic. A ceramic. Yes. Muy bien. Vamos a ver una conversación. ¿Se fijan? Very similar, muy similar a la que acabamos de ver. Solo cambia cierto vocabulario. In this conversation, you're going to find Alex and Christine. Alex, Christine, and the clerk. Escuchemos la conversación, a ver qué tal nos va. Vamos a ver materiales acá. Ready? Here we go. Let me click on play. Vamos, chicos, escuchemos. Page 19. Exercise nine, mm -hmm. conversation. That's a good point. That's a good Part point. Part A, listen and practice. I love these dresses. They are perfect for the wedding on Saturday. 
Yes, I like this black cotton one. The black one? Why? It's more stylish for a wedding. That's true, but it's the middle of summer. The material of this one is lighter. That's a good point. The wedding is in the afternoon. Hmm, there's no price tag. Excuse me, how much is this dress? It's $400. Would you like to try it on? Oh, no, that's okay. Thanks anyway. You're welcome. All right. So, in this case, they are not buying jackets. ¿Qué están comprando, clase? What are they buying? Dress. A dress. 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 What is the occasion? Uh, the wedding. Uh -huh. Wedding. They are going to a wedding. So, what is the opinion about this dress? What are the girls expressing about this dress? ¿Cuál es la opinión que le dice? It is styling. How? It's stylish. ¿Qué más dicen? I like this black cut. Ah, escucharon la pronunciación. Aquí, por eso les digo, se adapta también al contexto. Oh, la forma en la que la persona muchas veces pronuncia. Cotton, cotton, cotton. Podría ser también. Let's go to the practice. If you see, we are going to express, in this case, preferences. ¿Qué prefieren ustedes? I prefer, porque las chicas estaban comparando. ¿Sí? Y decían prefiero. Look at this. In this opportunity, I'm going to show you some products. Si se fijan, son los mismos, pero tienen diferencias. What do you see in number one? ¿Qué vamos a comparar aquí, clase? Look. A gold anillo. ring and Real. a silver ring. ¿Qué es lo que cambia? The material. Gold and silver ring. En la dos, ¿qué creen que vamos a comparar, chicos? What are we going to compare? I have two products. One tablet and one laptop computer. Probablemente aquí no comparemos el material, ¿verdad? ¿Qué podríamos comparar de una tablet, between a tablet and a laptop computer? La, el teacher lo, lo de el desempeño. Probably, right? Okay. Or even lo que más compararía yo es el espacio que trae. ¿Sí? But I don't know. We have so many options to compare. And then we have shoes. Material. Mm -hmm. Probably material. I have hiking boots and sneakers. So you are going to express preferences. And then I have gloves. Take a look at the material. I have wool gloves and leather gloves. In number five, I am going to be comparing sunglasses. What's the, what's the difference? The color. Mm -hmm. Black sunglasses and white sunglasses. ¿Cómo expreso entonces? ¿O cómo pregunto? Ahorita vamos a ver la pregunta. Which. Lo voy a poner por acá. Number one. Si se fijan dice which. Ring. Do you. Prefer. Which ring. Do you prefer. ¿Qué anillo prefieres? Desde que yo ocupo which, Gold. soy el encargado o la encargada de dar las opciones. Si yo digo which, es porque yo proporciono las opciones de respuesta. Which ring do you prefer? The silver ones or the gold ones. Ah, vean la pregunta. Which ring do you prefer? The silver 
Y aquí le acompaña el one. El one gold right. De, ajá, the silver one or the gold one. ¿Qué, ref, eh, ¿Qué responde la persona? I prefer. I prefer the gold brand. The gold one. Siempre usamos one para responder. Decimos I prefer. The gold one. Esa es información que puede variar. ¿sí? Algunos pueden preferir silver instead of eh, gold. So, you can say I prefer the gold one, or you can even say I prefer the silver one. Prefiero el de oro, el de plata. Lo que les decía ayer, one no tiene como un significado literal en esta oración. Si lo pasamos al español, por supuesto. Prefiero el de oro. El oro, no, el de oro. ¿sí? Esa es la diferencia. El plata, no, el de plata. Entonces, one hace como ese eh, tipo de intervención en la oración. El de, de plata. Me está haciendo específico. Ok, class. ¿Qué van a hacer entonces? Si se fijan, tienen cinco preguntas. You have five questions. En esta oportunidad solo van a responder cuál de los dos les gusta. No me van a decir por qué, solo elijamos uno. Which one do you prefer? ¿Sí? Ok. Entonces, no sé si se alcanza a ver la información. ¿Las letras están pequeñas o están bien? ¿Sí? Ok. Las del ejercicio, class. Is it easy to read? The information that we have there. Yes or not? Yes. Sí, vale. Les voy a dar entonces cinco minutitos para que en su cuaderno redactemos cuál prefieres. Which one do you prefer? No me den razones, justificación por qué le gusta esa. Not really. Solo cuál prefieres. ¿Prefieres la tablet o Laptop, computer, I prefer. Y luego mencionan el key, ¿sí? Vamos a ver ahorita entonces. Here we go. Teacher, I need the moment. I go to the... ¿Cómo se dice sala, teacher? To the living room. Uh -huh. Yeah, you can go. Don't worry. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, let me stop sharing for a while. Dejo compartir rapidito. Just give me a moment. ¿Cuántas oraciones van a salir en su cuaderno? Ahorita les muestro. Don't worry. Vale, les voy a proyectar el cronómetro. Cinco minutos. Here we go. Listos, aquí vamos. Let's go, class. Cinco minutitos. Cinco oraciones. ¿Cuál prefieren? Y vamos a hacer la comparación. ¿Ok? Se pregunta, así que voy a estar con ustedes acompañando. In your English notebook. Aquí está el ejemplo. ¿Cómo responder? I prefer the. And then you mentioned. Which of those two do you prefer? ¿Cuál de los dos prefieren? Vamos a ahorita a escribir. Vamos, clase. Which one do you prefer? Okay, write the information. Let's 
cinco minutitos. Luego vamos a comparar. Ok, And that's it. I prefer the tablet. I prefer the laptop computer. I prefer the hiking boots. I prefer the sneakers. I prefer the wool gloves. I prefer the leather gloves. I prefer black sunglasses. I prefer white sunglasses. That's it. Did you finish? Let me know if you're done. Dos minutitos. Vamos, chicos. You can do it. No, oh, please. Just let me know if you're done. Si terminaron, dígame, teacher, I finished. Así comparamos entonces las respuestas. I finished. All right. Emerson, who else? ¿Quién más? Who else? I finished, teacher. Excellent. You've already done. Okay, we're still missing two two extra minutes. Which one do you prefer? Time is almost over. All right, 54, 53. Which one do you prefer? As you may see in the conversations, uh, you were finding like specific details on why people prefer one product and why not the other one. Ese será el complemento que agregaremos mañana. ¿Por qué sí me gusta? ¿Por qué no me gusta? Ahí vamos a ocupar los materiales también. Ok. Time is almost over. 13 seconds and then we are going to be comparing this information with the rest of the class. Five, four, three, two, and one. Ahí está, chicos. Se acabó el tiempo. Les pregunto entonces. Let me see. Manuel Alexander. From picture number one. De la picture one. Which ring... Do you prefer the silver wand or the gold wand? I prefer the gold wand. Okay, excellent. Um, can you ask? Pregúntale a alguien más, Manuel, y así vamos a ir. ¿sí? Luego Manuel le consulta a alguien más y la otra persona al siguiente. Yes, go please. Number two. Eh, please. Podría, podría presentarla. Con gusto, ahorita. Ahí está. Vamos, Manuel. Three, two, and one. Emerson Antonio, which, which one do you like more, the tablet or the laptop computer? I 
I prefer the laptop. Okay, Emerson, continue. Great job, guys. Continue, Emerson. Okay. No, uh -huh. no Emi Salazar. Okay. Which ones do you like more? The hiking boots or the sneakers? Yes, Naomi, what can you say about that one? Okay, look for some other, Emerson. Probably she's not there. Okay. Manuel Alexander, which ones do you like more, the hiking boots or the sneakers? Uh, okay. Yeah, why not? Um, I prefer the sneakers. Okay, interesting. Okay, Naomi está por ahí. Naomi, which sí, one? Es que yo contesté y tenía apagado el micrófono y no me di cuenta. Oh, don't worry. So, same question for you. Number three, which ones do you like more? The hiking boots or the sneakers? I prefer the sneakers. Really? Okay. Naomi, pregúntale a alguien. Number four. Uh, Ask which, this question. Um... um Okay, go please. Which one do you want to like more? The computer or the Hello. Computer uh, or the tablet? Um, the tablet. Uh, I like more the tablet. Ah, okay, that's all right. Let me ask some other. Nos quedan dos minutos. Corramos un poquito. Eh, Riquel me. Which ones do you prefer? The wool gloves or the leather gloves? Which ones do you prefer? I prefer the leather gloves one. Okay, interesting. Great. What do you think about this, Sonia? Number five, which sunglasses do you like better? The black ones or the white one? I prefer the black ones. The black ones, okay. That's it. Great job, guys. Mañana vamos a analizar más este ejercicio porque hay expresiones. Si se fijaron, usamos dos expresiones. Which ones do you prefer? Which ones do you like more. ¿Sí? Vamos a consultar gustos. En la plataforma, after the conversation, I guess you're going to find one exercise. Les muestro rapidito. Miren acá. Aquí está. Knowledge checked. ¿Reconocen este ejercicio? Do you recognize this one? It's very similar, right, to the one yes. we're presenting. Así que creo que no van a tener eh, inconvenientes. Me, identificar. Made of. Yeah, made of. Made of. What are these things made of? Aquí está la traducción. De qué materiales están hechas. Así que les invito a que complementen el 3.9. Y revisemos esta. No, esto lo vamos a ver mañana, ¿ok? Comparar. ¿Por qué me gusta más este y por qué no? Making comparisons. Ok, and that's it. Time is over. Se acabó la clase. Queda un minuto para preguntas o comentarios, clase. Vamos, los escucho. Sí, sure. una pregunta. Sí, dígame. Este... ¿Vamos a cambiar de profesor cada vez que nos inscribamos o siempre va a ser usted? como nos están enviando eso para otra vez inscribirnos y eso que nos explicaron? Fíjense que muchas veces coincide, ¿sí? Si yo tengo disponible, por ejemplo, este mismo horario, me lo vuelven a asignar a ustedes. Si ¿Sí? no, y hay bastantes teachers, eso es así. Entonces, ¿Pero hasta cuándo estamos con usted? Son 16 clases juntos. Ahorita vamos apenas por la... ¿Cuál era esta clase? La 7, 7, 7. 7, 7. Falta, falta un poco okay, todavía. Falta todavía. Don't worry, Exacto. relax. Eso sí, miren, <ríe> llenen y eh, complementen ese formulario porque en base a cómo van llegando, 
eh, las solicitudes van llenando los grupos para que vayan quedando juntos siempre Ah, eh, ok. como clase Ajá. porque imagínense llenan creo que es 20 el límite no sé cuánto y así se van todos de una sola vez no esperemos al último momento para complementar esa información buena pregunta ¿qué otra surge por ahí? ¿no? ¿nada más? Not really? Mm, not really. Okay, so let's continue tomorrow. It was an excellent class. Don't forget to come tomorrow because we need to finish Good with night. the activity. Good night to Thank everyone. you, teacher. Bye -bye. Good night. Bye bye. Take care. Goodbye. 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 Goodbye.